oh, this is interesting. This is a graphic showing the disparity of the top 10% and um, the rest of the population among uh, some developed countries. As you can see, in America, the top 10% uh, own 80% uh, of the net uh, household wealth. Um, then you've got Germany, 60%, UK and Canada, they're around 50%, France a little bit below 50%, Italy down to 42%, and Japan down there at nearly 40%. Again, just really interesting. Um, Japan, by the way, has crazy um, inheritance taxes. I'm trying to remember the amount, but it's something like 90%. You know, so, so Basically, if you die and you don't manage to transfer all your assets before you die, uh, all of those assets, basically, you, you have to sell. To, to pay them off it's one it's one way that they actually managed to uh get rid of the um uh, aristocratic system this is something that ghq did and redistribute that wealth through the population in japan and it really did result in a very um you know it was it was quasi extreme socialist communist redistribute but it's been very effective and it still is applied the mechanism is still applied in japan so something i think is nice about japan in a way that it is genuinely very egalitarian if you go to like a really rich neighborhood like nishiazabu or uh, jugaoka um you know um some neighborhoods in setagaya like jugaoka places like that like the real sort of beverly hills type neighborhoods honestly Probably if you have just arrived in Japan and you, I take you from there to uh, Japan's ghetto like like Arachi or Kotoku or the, you know some, if I take you to freaking Koiwa or uh, Adachi, uh, which is sort of famous as you know around Tokyo as being the most quote unquote ghetto neighborhoods. I may, and I make fun of them from time to time. Uh, I'm, I'm making fun of them slightly now, but seriously, you wouldn't really be able to probably put your finger on the difference they look this the neighbors look the same they feel the same people basically look like they're dressed the same now if you look really closely you will notice that um there'll be more trees in the well-to-do neighborhoods in Azabu and uh Jugoka, you'll see more trees you'll see the occasional park everything will look a little bit cleaner um the cars the people look like they've just bought their clothes in, in muji um but they'll be wearing clothes that look the same as the people in Arachi. it'll just look like they've just bought them over there everywhere every you know everything is just a little bit more polished in a fancy neighborhood but you don't see you know people well i guess you do see occasionally expensive cars and stuff like that but generally even wealthy people where they exist play it down a lot so you know um the things that you would look at to indicate that there's a great gap in wealth you know um you know ostentatious houses versus apartment blocks there are apartment blocks in both um so you know it is a thing about japan not only does um you know is, is wealth fairly evenly spread as a society but also the, the difference is fairly small that the people rich people that actually have the money actually are discreet about it and this is uh probably again a legacy to the end of world war ii where the government was very ag aggressive about targeting and redistributing wealth of uh, japan sort of um you know inherited wealth class and they really did destroy it more or less so they were quite successful at that so um you know they they learn not to draw attention to themselves uh, this is why you know japan's most expensive exclusive car the toyota century I mean, it looks like a 1970s Toyota Corona. Seriously, <laughs> it's it's like handmade V12 uh, Toyota, you know, six liter, like crazy, you know, almost always chauffeur driven. And it looks like a taxi from 1968, you know. Um, so, you know, this is what they do. They try to fly under the radar, but it reflects that it, this is a society which is not highly stratified, uh, you know, uh, whereas the U.S., um, you can see there's actually kind of crazy how much wealth is uh, and I, I don't know that this is necessarily a problem. What I don't like is where you have like no middle class at all. You know, where 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 you have that you know, you have a lot of countries where you have these mega rich people and the rest of the country is in poverty, you know, and this is what was at the situation in countries like the Philippines and Thailand for a long time. But America was always successful not because of uh, just because of it, its national wealth. Um, but because it had such a large, it was successful at developing such a large middle class. And, you know, that middle class seems to be disappearing. And I think that's a problem. I think it's okay to have wealthy people so long as you don't, you know, so long as you're not having people, you know, a large percentage of the population in poverty. And, and, and that would suggest that there's something going wrong. And I see trends like that over there. But yeah, still is very interesting. It shows in some ways that Japan's been managed very well. It is prejudicial, uh, Hiko Simon says Odi Jr. Well, like I say, uh, this is my point, though. I might poke fun at Adachi or other, <laughs> some other neighborhoods that I named, but I would live in any one of them. Um, you know, I lived in Itogaku. It was great. You know, it's got higher crime than just about every other. <laughs> I lived in Kashua for years. I love Kashua. Um, but there are high crime areas relatively in Tokyo, which, of course, anyone who knows Tokyo knows that high crime is a joke. But, you know, 
Um, yeah, so I love these areas, you know, but that's when you're talking things relative. That's what they are. Yes, may, maybe a little bit uh, <laughs> prejudicial, but there you go. Hey, Eddie, Google's Arachi. Arachi is wonderful. Uh, Arachi actually has great parks, and actually they get they get a lot of public money there to try to you know help things up. But uh, traditionally, back when Tokyo was in the Edo period, it's always been the sort of rundown neighborhood. By the way.